By the end of this course, I'm expecting you to have a full grasp of the basic teachings of Scripture. Welcome to the Basic Bible Doctrines Bible Study Guides, a series of 14 lessons that takes you through the basic teachings of Scripture. There are three reasons why you need this course as a beginner. Number one is that this course gives you a deep plunge into the Scripture without droning you are droning you in details you know trying to read the scripture verse by verse chapter by chapter is a good goal but it can be a daunting task when you do not know how to connect the dots well this course connects the dots for you the second reason you need these lessons as a beginner is that these lessons help you to start a relationship with god without having to know every detail of the bible the third reason is that these lessons get you started on your own Bible reading journey, okay? So as soon as you're done with these lessons, you can start your own journey of reading from Genesis to Revelation or starting with any of the, the Gospels. But by that time, you would have got, gathered enough information that will help you to put pieces together as you read along. Now, just before you get started, I want to provide you with some basic guidelines on how you can get the best out of your Bible study. The first tip is that you must always begin the Bible reading with prayer. The Bible is a spiritual book and we need the help of the Holy Spirit to, to get us to understand. The second step is that you want to set up a schedule for doing these Bible lessons. So rather than simply coming here when you have the time, it's best to set a schedule, for example, maybe once per week or twice per week at a particular time and then you make that appointment and you'll keep that appointment of coming back to do each lesson the third advice i give you is that in in setting up your schedule i'm recommending for you to use the morning hours because the morning hours have less distraction usually and you get started on your bible reading before getting involved in other activities because you tend to get busy and lose focus um, when you get involved in your day before doing your Bible reading. So start early, start in the morning, and you have a better chance of getting the best out of your studies. Step number four is that I strongly recommend having a study partner or joining a small group who is, who is going through these lessons as well. That will help to keep you accountable and will also help you with any questions that you may have as you go along. Advice number five is that I recommend to you that you should not rush your Bible reading. When, for example, the lesson points out a scripture that you need to read to answer a question, don't simply read it just to get the answer. Take time and to reflect on what the scripture is saying. The final advice I'll give you to get the best out of Bible study is for you to keep a personal journal of your own thoughts and reflection on the topic that's being studied. Have a little notebook where you're going to write down any insights or any questions that you may have. It does help with retaining the information that you study all right so welcome again to this amazing journey of going through the basic teachings of the bible so grab your bible grab your pen and make sure you set up your schedule and let's get started